Hey, this is Fee, and this is my DIY Moon Happy Box. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna drill the top of this. I'm not gonna do the the happy labels, the happy keychains. But I'm just gonna drill the box, and um, I'm gonna do this under a bit of a time lapse so you can watch me uh, do it. So I hope you enjoy the time lapse. Okay, so I've just done bottom section and I had one rogue white and a, yeah, one rogue white in there and I did have one horrible drill but I have leftovers which I could put on here but I'm not going to. So what I did use is my little straightener to straighten this up so that it looks all nice and neat. And what I am going to do, I'm actually going to put the moon in on the abalone, abalone um, colours. I did buy them to use them. Oh, do I want to or do I want Do you know what? I'm actually going to not do the moon. I'm going to put that away. Let's see if I can see if I can get them back in this type of that. I am I don't know what to do. I, I no, I will I will finish it off with the outer line. Um it's only right that I do that. It's part of the box. Oh. I do have something different in there. I have a, one of the red ones is in there. Um, but as you can tell, I'm also using um, the tweezers. Don't normally use tweezers for rounds, but it's working. Um, I was using the other drill pen. I did start off with the other drill pen I got with, with another order. So that's this one. Um, but the tweezers is working quite well. So I will go back to uh, the time lapse. Okay, <laughs> I struggled doing that um, with the tweezers because the hand and eye coordination with tweezers when there is so much sparkle it is so hard to deal with. So that's where I reverted back to going and doing it doing um, using my pen. So there it is done. Oops. I have plenty of the peachy colour left over and obviously the sampler drills. Um, so I'll Put those aside for now. I've just dropped another one. What I will do is exactly the same that I did to the last set, the drill pack, the um, electric moon box. I can find it. There it is. So last time I used the translucent makeup beads um, to seal so that the sticky glue in between no longer um, has any effect and I'll just brush that on so I'll speed through that process and um, get back to you shortly. On and oh well look at the sparkle on that moon. So now my happy DIY moon box is even happier. How cool is that? Um, so guys, thank 
you for um, watching this. this. Should have been just a well, I don't know how long it took me to do this. Probably 15 minutes, if that, to actually do this bit. Well, not this bit, but to drill this. So 15, 20 minutes, perhaps. I don't know. I can't remember how long it took me. Can't remember what time I started. But it was definitely less than half an hour. So just as a quick little thing to do, these boxes are really cool. Um, and so the next project for this box will be to complete the happy. Um, I did um and ah about the gold, but what I will do is if I've got any gold left, I might decorate the box in another way. So, hang on, sorry guys. Let's do that. A crinkling, just to do it. Okay, so that's the moon box. The happy moon box has been decorated. Um, no requirement for anything else. No sticky because the translucent powder has covered it. And um, plenty of drills left over. So I hope you like that. Please, oh, plenty of drills left over my desk. On that note, where is it? <gasps> where is it? I have a vacuum cleaner. There you go. Whoops. I don't know if you've ever seen me do deal with spills before. Just going to throw this in there. This is a very appropriate time to throw it in there. I have a little vacuum cleaner, a mini vacuum cleaner. Um, I have a battery power pack. Um, and what I do is I plug it into the power pack and uh, turn this on, excuse the noise. It's not that loud. Now, I'm just picking up all the drills that scattered around the place. And The ones that ended up in my shirt, and ones behind the box. So this little thing has came with a couple of different attachments, and I caught it, it from just a, a variety store in Australia called called Dings. And I've seen the little mushroom ones, but this is uh, mushrooms, little ladybug. This is a lot more specific. So if you watch. I can actually direct where I want it to go to. Um, it's great when you drop drills on a keyboard. Trust me. Don't do it, but trust me, it's how it works. Okay, so I've just picked up my mess of drills. And if you... The biggest thing is to make sure... Uh, you obviously keep your... Clean, your um, filter clean. Um, but there we go. I've just picked everything up. Plus a square that was also hidden on my desk somewhere that I didn't realise was there. Um, but yeah, that's a little thing just adding on to there. Is this a little tiny? I mean, I could plug it into my computer, but I plug it into a power pad, so then it's easy. But yeah, there's another little trip inserted right here. But on going back to this one, lots of drills left over. They were over everything. Now they're back where they belong. Lots of drills left over. The box is pretty cool. Um, the next job for this one is actually to work on what's on the inside. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. I'll leave a comment, subscribe, and hit a bell. Hit, hit a bell. Hit the bell, which is that way, um, to... Um, See more, be notified when I upload more um, stuff. Okay, bye for now. Thank you.